Hey, welcome back to the Mindful Minute. My name is Ashley Molina. I'm an integrative nutrition health coach. And on today's episode of the Mindful Minute, I wanna to talk to you about dieting versus intuitive eating. Dieting, in my opinion, is a very negative approach when it comes to health and wellness, and intuitive eating allows us a lot of freedom, and it also gives us the opportunity to really, really achieve true health and vitality by tuning into our own individual bodies. So I just want to quickly compare dieting and intuitive eating so you can have an idea of what this means, what this looks like, um, because they are very different things. The first thing Thing that I want to point out is that diets are actually very ineffective. So you can Google some studies really quick, but there are millions of studies that have shown uh, any diet out there is actually less than 1% effective. What happens is people may gain and achieve the results they were looking for, which is primarily weight loss. But then after a certain period of time, people tend to relapse into old patterns and gain back more weight than they started with. Diets are just not effective. The difference here when it comes to intuitive eating is that intuitive eating becomes a lifestyle approach meaning you aren't incorporating a protocol to help you lose weight and then get back off of it and then maybe get back on it and et cetera, et cetera. So you start to view your food much differently than you did before. You start to view food as fuel. For instance, I could for lunch have Taco Bell or I could for lunch go home and make a sweet potato with some chickpeas and drizzled with some sauce. Now, my choice here becomes which one is going to make me feel better, which one is gonna give me more clarity and energy after I'm done eating it, which one is gonna allow my body to move freely and naturally when I go to work out, and which one is going to make me feel worse after I eat it than before. One of the biggest differences between dieting and intuitive eating is that dieting is very, very restrictive. The protocol of a diet is a one-size-fits-all approach, no matter who the person is, what gender they are, what kind of body type they have. None of those things are taken into consideration. You are just following a laid out plan that has been made to achieve a certain goal, which usually is weight loss. Intuitive eating, on the other hand, is not restrictive. It is actually the opposite of restrictive. It is understanding and bringing awareness to what your body needs. Another big difference between dieting and intuitive eating is that dieting really focuses on weight control. People are dieting because they want to lose weight. And that's because most of us today are obese because the standard American diet causes us to gain weight and have chronic disease, chronic pains, all of these things that we want to avoid. So a lot of us are looking for the solution to that, right? And so we look to a diet because we are wanting to lose weight, not only just to look better, but also so that we can avoid a lot of these issues that arise from being overweight. Intuitive eating focuses on how the body feels physically after each meal or after food that you've eaten versus how the body looks by means of weight gain or weight loss. For instance, most of my clients, when I start working with them on their goal sheet, they write down that they wanna lose weight. And that's amazing and that's an admirable goal. There is nothing wrong with that. But I really encourage them as they go throughout the program to let go of the thought of weight loss or weight gain and to really focus on how the body feels. So you might be thinking to yourself, what does she mean, like how the body feels? And what I mean by that is really uh, tuning in to exactly what the body does after you have a meal or certain food, particularly for some people. People. For instance, when it comes to our stomach, are we feeling very bloated after a meal? Bloating is not normal. Are you feeling sick to your stomach? Are you feeling nauseous in some way? Do you have gas? Are you getting those weird little half burps that come up after you eat? Do you get indigestion? Are you having heartburn? Um, do you feel very constipated throughout the day? Uh, do you get headaches a lot? Are you feeling so sleepy and fatigued after you eat a meal? This is what I mean by how the body is actually physically feeling and all of these are symptoms. And these symptoms are messengers telling us that the body is not getting the correct fuel or the correct foods that it needs. So really tuning into these symptoms as feelings in the body is a very key component of learning how to be an intuitive eater. Okay, last but not least, when it comes to big differences in dieting and intuitive eating is dieting is very black and white. Well, what I mean by that is that whoever created the diet, whether it be um, someone who wrote a book because they had an experience, whether it be a company, whether it is social media or some kind of media source that comes up with this diet, maybe even a doctor came up with this diet, is determined by outside sources which foods are good and bad for you. 
And although we may be able to like read up and understand and gain some knowledge as to why these foods might be good or bad, if we haven't personally experienced that certain foods are good or bad for us, then it's very hard to, for us to stick with this diet or this protocol. Intuitive eating actually allows us to listen to the body, learn from the body what is good or bad, and then take that information and create our own personalized approach. We are able to see which foods trigger for us versus other people. So for instance, I have a client who cannot eat anything tomato based. It causes her a lot of indigestion and even though she's gone through a lot of healing and really been able to heal her body and eat a lot of great foods, tomatoes just are not great for her so she chooses to avoid them. That is a big example of intuitive eating. Now if I told her, well tomatoes are great and they are a real food, a whole food, a fresh food that have a lot of nutrients, like you need to incorporate them, but she's eating them every day and suffering with indigestion that's not helpful, right? So it's taking her experience of eating those tomatoes and then realizing that she doesn't wanna incorporate those anymore because they are negative for her body that makes intuitive eating a personalized approach. Thanks as always for watching.